all right guys i am pissed i am absolutely pissed right now so now this has been going on in the game for a while but i recently saw a video and that just triggered something in me it was joe raptor's video but right now if you as you're looking on to the screen you might be seeing everything is kind of blurry and shaky well that is because my character is drunk did i want my character to be drunk not really no so why is my character drunk it's because ubisoft yeah so there's a bug in the game right now where essentially your character is always drunk yeah i'm not kidding now you might be thinking you know 2020 and all that probably good but now we are in 2021 so why but anyway the point being that this is something that happens every single time you load a save and come back into the game so uh you know the official ubisoft stance on this and there's a workaround for this so all you need to do is meditate so you know you can just press the meditate button except if you have left it between uh cutscenes or like between some scripted areas or between like some dialogues or something so like there was a situation where i essentially the game crashed on me and it loaded right back to where it was and i could not meditate because i was like trying to sign a priest treaty of some kind some sort i had to talk to people i cannot exactly meditate there so basically i was drunk the whole time so brilliant there now why am i mad about that games have bugs you know why am i mad about that the reason why i'm mad about that is something i will be getting on to in a while now i know this is a rant but i want you guys to hear this i need you guys to hear this i need you guys to understand why i am pissed and why you should be pissed as well so right now in the game there is this festival going on called the yule festival and ever since that update dropped nothing in the game works there is nothing no single part of this game that works as intended so now that this update is up when i say no single part i mean the part of the yule festival because when you are boxing you sometimes float above the ground and you can't punch anymore when you are trying to hit the arrow sometimes the targets don't turn the npc who is cheering us in that arrow contest has two fucking lines in the entire thing and you basically need to grind that in case you want the gear more importantly the two quests that came with the yule festival they don't even work yeah they don't work so like you right now you have to go to youtube you have to look up or walk through of that to actually get there why is that a very difficult puzzle is it a very difficult riddle that you need to solve in order to you know get to where you need to be no it's a bug essentially the quest objectives are broken so you don't know where you need to go the quest objective says you need to go to skiropshire but there is nothing here in fact at first i thought maybe my game is glitched out turns out that's the case for everyone because ubisoft could not be bothered to at least delay the update till it was in a working condition and do not tell me that this was in working condition under no circumstance is this considered to be working condition this is not a work. i can guarantee you there is no tester on the ubisoft team and there is no developer on the ubisoft team who will look at this update and say that this is working condition this is in condition to be released this was the executives because they want to have this update in the game and they want to push it out because they want to meet their stupid fucking deadlines even though it is unrealistic and they are basically pushing everyone to do it and now they release the broken product now i have already gone on a rant about how broken the games that you just released were but now i am even more mad do you know why i'll show you why this this is why i am mad now in this character section you can see that there are gear sets now they, these are like 500 helix sets but that's not the whole story the whole story are the packs because there are weapons and stuff so each of these packs are 2000 helix credits each now we get a pack pretty much every single week every single week or every two weeks why am i mad about that more new content right so this is 2000 helix credits by the way so how much do i need to pay to get this i need to pay 1399 indian national rupees now in case you are someone like i know a lot of my subscribers aren't from india so in fact i think the majority of my subscribers are not from india 
So yeah, if you translate that to dollars, this would be around 24 to $25. Now we have regional pricing in Epic Store. So this is slightly lower. So I'm assuming this is around $30. Uh, even if it's not, it is almost half the price of the game. I basically played, paid double of this to get the whole game. I paid double this amount to buy a game that was giving me an experience that by the way, I'm 50 hours into this experience and I'm nowhere close to finishing it. So basically it's like a 70, 80, 100 hour experience for me because I am a completionist of sort and I paid $60. I paid like 3,500 rupees or 3,000 now because uh, Epic Store recently started Indian pricing so they decreased it a bit. So I basically paid double that to get an experience that lasted me for 100 hours and Ubisoft thinks that it is okay to charge half that price for a gear pack. I am not joking here and I hope the irony is not lost on you. Now you again might think, you know what, these are gear packs, you can buy them, you can't buy them, it's your decision, right? Right? Except it's not. Because you know what? If you don't get these gear packs, you don't get the best gear in the game. All these gear sets that we have right now are pretty much crap. If you want some good, like really good builds, you need these gear sets. Otherwise you can't. This is not a system like Odyssey where you can, you know, get really good epic, epic gear, like the purple ones, and you can make a build out of that. You can make a clever build out of that. No, this is not that kind of build. In fact, you can't take these uh, bonuses, these, these, these uh, set bonuses, and you can't take these set bonuses and put them into other gear because Valhalla doesn't have a system like that. So essentially, if you don't have these armors, you possibly don't get the best perks in the game and look at how good these armors look right so right now you might have seen i was using these this armor set for a long time so i was basically hiding this and i was using this as my armor set well guess what this is a helix toe armor set this is not in the game you cannot use this gear set in the game and the gear sets look very cool now, I can understand, you know, they want to sell gear sets, obviously they want to make it look cool, except these gear sets will soon outnumber what's already in the game. Right now, these are seven gear sets. But soon enough, it's going to be far more than that. And it's like these are seven that I have. I still haven't gotten that, uh, what was the latest one? This, this one, Nil, Niflheim pack. I haven't got this one yet. So, so there are essentially eight or nine gear sets right now in the game that you can pay for. And each of those gear sets cost half the price of the game. So right now, you have to pay four times the price of the game if you want the actually good gear sets. I wish I was joking. I wish that I was wrong about this, but I am not. And you know what really, really pisses me off? Not only did they release a broken product, not only did they release a broken um, update, they did not even bother to fix it. They still have not fixed the Yule season update. Like it's been going on for a month at this point, for a month. The game is broken for a month and they haven't fixed it. And they have no problems adding more gear sets. They are more focused on adding gear sets that you can buy than actually fixing the game that you can play. If that is not greedy, I don't know what is. And you know what? You know what else is greedy? You know, they are designing, the artists are doing so much good work to design these sets, right? These, these are really cool looking sets. So these free events, you would think that we would get some cool looking sets there as well, right? 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 No, we don't. We don't get any cool gear sets for that. Because guess what? This is the armor that is in the game currently. Did I hide it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. What the? Why can't I hide it? Oh, because I'm wearing this, guys. My bad. Um, yeah, now I've hidden it. 
So this is an armor set that is currently in the game right now. You can obtain it fairly easily. I think it's in East Anglia. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. This is an armor set that is in the game currently. And this is the armor set that they added with the Yule Season update. I don't think I need to say much else. They, they can spend so much of their time coming up with these armor sets that look, you know, considerably cooler. But they cannot spend that time to actually make the season armors look good. Why? Because they are free? Seriously? You are telling me that you have all these resources, but you cannot fucking design an armor set for the free update. And I'm not asking for much here. This game already does not have that much armor. Like these two are basically what you get within the first few, not even the first few hours, within the first hour of the game. This is the Raven Clan armor and this is the Saul's tuning. This is the starting armor sets. That's what we get in the beginning. You know why, why this is interesting? Because about two years ago, when Origins was doing this thing where they were releasing packs like left and right, left, right and center, I said something then. You know, I might even have that. You know, I'm going to quit this. I'm going to open up Steam. Right. This is the review. This is my review of Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, uh, I gave this game, uh, I believe, a 9 out of 10. Yes, I gave this game a 9 out of 10. I wasn't good at scoring games back then. And I wrote an entire fucking review on that. On Steam. But now... This is an edit that I'm going to read it out loud to you. Because guess what? This is a review from 2017. 2017. This review is from 2017. And we are now sitting in 2021. And let's just see what I wrote back then. Since everyone is focused on EA and they are missing out the shit that other companies are up to, today we talk about Ubisoft. Of course, they were going to monetize this. They included nearly universally despised more system of monetization that is microtransactions the game has three editions one of which you can get will get you the season pass oh by the way so does valhalla valhalla costs more than hundred dollars if you want the ultimate edition so there's that so this game can cost more than hundred dollars just remember that but apparently ubisoft think ninety dollars isn't enough to have all the content in a single player game because they added more stuff to the store which by the way this was the first items that you can't actually obtain at the moment, even from Hacker Chess. So at that point, you couldn't. But eventually, that they did come to Hacker Chess. And you know what? I am going to come to that. This is a long video. This is going to be a very long video. So just stay tuned. It's going to be like half an hour long. And it will set you about 30 to $35. So they were charging around the same price for these armor sets. If you're wondering, I believe that is actually more than the price of the season pass itself. Yes, it was. Plus one of these packs, by the way, at that point, the season pass was actually cheap. Right now, it's very expensive in the Epic Store. It's like 2000 rupees right now. Plus one of these packs has the best item in best in-game weapon. At that point, it did. But to be fair, they just with that weapon set, they added the Trial of the Gods. And eventually with the Trial of the Gods, you got a sword that is just as powerful as that one. And it looked cooler. So <laughs> I don't really mind that. But yes, for a time being, the best weapon was actually in that pack. It was like a Roman centurion sword. The, uh, there's absolutely no hours. So if you buy this, do us a favor. Don't buy this shit from eStore, no matter how tempting it is. Because if you give them an inch, they take a mile. In the next Assassin's Creed, we'll be starting out in our boxers and all the outfits will be a dollar each. You decide the fate that you want. I wrote this in 2017. 2017, guys. This was three years ago. I wrote this three years ago. And we are already almost there. Because guess what? Right now, I'm just going to boot the game back up again. Right. So as I was saying, right now in the Helix store, we are almost there. We are at a point that by the end of the month, there are going to be more outfits in the store than in the base game. I wish that I was joking about this. I wish that we weren't in a situation like this, but we are. It took them three years to get to this point. 
you know they learned their lesson after ghost recon breakpoints well guess what they fucking learned nothing they learned nothing they don't care they don't give a fuck all they care about is selling you these and if you keep buying them then don't worry in the next assassin's creed you will be starting with a pair of boxers and then every single outfit will be a dollar each don't worry that reality is not far away and you are responsible for that you the person who is watching this who buys these packs you are the ones responsible for it not ubisoft they are a business if they see a profit if, if they see something that will give them profit they will take that opportunity and now you might be saying oh you are such a hypocrite you have these character packs guess what i don't as you can see in the store right now i don't have the gear packs there are ways to do things and i encourage you to do to use those ways to do things you know there might be some people who said uh, you know what that is not ethical because they have worked so hard and you know you should pay them yes i understand i paid them 60 dollars in fact you know what i'm willing to pay them more because at some point i will buy the season pass because i do want to play the dlcs but i am not even going to get the dlcs day one because this is not giving me hope so that being said yeah the more ethical thing to do right now would be to <coughs> do some uh, <coughs> questionable things so again it's all up to you what do you want do you want a company that will continue to do this shit and are you someone who will defend this company from this shit and if you are someone who doesn't see a problem with this, then my friend, you are the problem. You are a huge problem. And you will only notice that problem once you are knee deep in shit. And then you won't be able to get out of it. Neither will we. We right now have no other options. Like, guess what? You want to play an Assassin's Creed game? Oh my dear God. <laughs> You know, it's just ironic that we are talking about this and something like this happens. This is absolutely ironic. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I'm just going to keep this panoramic view, guys. <laughs> I don't fucking believe it, man. I don't fucking believe it. So yes, we are at this point where uh, the gear packs in the game are being outnumbered by the gear packs in the Helix store. And if we are not careful, that is the reality we are going for. Where we start off in our boxes and every single outfit. And you know what? I think I was being liberal before. I said like every single outfit is $1 each. Guess what? They will be like $30, $40 each. Yeah, you don't want to buy those outfits, play in your boxes, I guess. No, no, these are just the outfits are just there to enhance your experience. They're not necessary to the story or the character or the progression. They're just there to enhance. Yeah, they're absolutely just there to enhance the story. That's why you don't need outfits. All you need are boxers. And if it's a female character, then something to cover the upper area. So, yeah, that's where we are headed. Good luck with that. Now, I wish I could have ranted for a, long, a bit longer, but uh, that brings about the end of the rant. But that's not the end of it, though. Because, you know what? We need to push back against this. We can't just sit back and let this happen, right? We absolutely have to push back. Because not only are they insulting us, they are insulting the brilliant people who actually made this game. Because this game is a brilliant one. And I've said that in my top 10 list. This game is a good game. And I will not let some fucking corporate sitting on top of their stupid throne ruin it for everyone else. I will not let other people suffer the abuse because these people are greedy as fuck. I won't let that happen. Because guess what? The developers are not responsible for this. The people who are designing these armor sets are not responsible for this. They were told to design an armor set the developers were told to implement this. 
they they are not the ones who are in charge they are not calling the shots you know why ubisoft dreams are so broken you know why watch dogs legion and assassin's creed valhalla was so goddamn broken because basically all the testers were focusing on these three games that launched within three within two months they launched th no wait there was like 29th october to 10th basically they launched three games in a month three huge triple a games in one month and the teams were scrambling everywhere trying to get these things running. Do you expect anything else? Like, there are teams like Rockstar who basically just focus on one game. Their entire teams, their testing development teams are focused on that one game. That is why they are so polished. Like, okay, Rockstar games are not particularly polished, let's be honest here. But if you take any game that is well polished, it's because there was a particular team focusing on this particular product. Now in Ubisoft, of course, there are different teams and different projects, but there are clearly not enough people there. And clearly, if they had that entire staff focused on one product, then this would have been a much more polished experience. Same goes for Watch Dogs Legion. And these unrealistic deadlines that these assholes who are sitting on the top are setting are ruining everything else. And they are ruining everything for everyone. The developers are not happy. The players who are playing this, like me and you, are not happy. So then, what does it serve then? It just serves the purpose of earning them more money. So please, please, do not buy these outfits. Do not buy these packs. I know my advice is just going to fall on dead ears. And in fact, deaf ears. And many, many of the people are going to say, Oh, but you don't have to buy it. Don't buy it yourself. We just, we'll just buy it for ourselves. Well, guess what? The more you buy, the less options we have. This is how they ruin sports games. Guess what? FIFA wasn't always this shit. FIFA games, the I only play the one uh, sports franchise and that's FIFA because I'm a huge football fan. I, as far as I can say, I'm a huge football fanatic almost. But I didn't buy FIFA 21 because it's absolute garbage. Because they ruined it. Because people kept buying into their shit and they ruined everything. Guess what? You're also ruining this. And one day you will regret your mistakes, but then it would be too late. So you know what? You want to take my advice? Take it. Don't buy it. You don't want to take my advice? You think you are a smart ass who knows better? Go buy these games. But mark my words, that reality is creeping up on you. That reality where you have nothing in the game, where you buy a $60 experience, that means absolutely nothing. That reality is creeping up on you. And when it happens, you are going to regret it. But then you can do fuck all about it. So it's your decision, really. What do you want to do? Do you want to promote this greed? Do you want to promote these, these sort of experiences? Go for it. Oh, I forgot. Hi. I can't believe I forgot this. But yeah, uh, just to bookend this. They also, by the way, added the uh, experience boost and the coin boost from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sorry, from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, they added that back in. You know, the controversial feature? Yeah, they added that back in. So, just signing off on that. So, I'm extremely fucking pissed off right now. And, well, I'm still going to play this game. Uh, by the way, uh, you cannot equip major runes on all armor pieces. So like, uh, if you have these helix sets, you can put a major rune on every single one of them. But if you have these normal ones, you can't. Because you sort of decided that is the case. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough of the rant. I know I told you this was going to be like a 30 minute long video. I know that. Uh, but I need to get this out. I needed more people to see this. Now I know like 10 people are going to see this. I know hardly anyone's going to watch this video, but you know, to the people who are watching this video, honestly, the choice is yours. If you want to go out and you want to buy these armor sets, and you think that you are actually contributing something to their finances, no, you're not. You're not covering the development costs, you're not covering anything. All you are covering are the multi million dollar bonuses that these CEOs get. Because this is not just a problem with Ubisoft, this is a problem with literally every single gaming company. I'm just Looking at a Ubisoft game right now, I'm pretty sure I can boot up any fucking AAA game right now and I'll find this shit. Except maybe Cyberpunk 2077. But that has its own shit to deal with. So, 
this is where we are at. This is where the world is at. So that being said, I leave you guys here. Just think about it. Just sit down and think about what you want. And think if these spending thirty dollars to get an armor set is a good deal. Peace.